Ohio State and Northwestern in Evanston, a series the Buckeyes have absolutely dominated. Chris Collins, Thad Mata talking things over before the game. First half, Bryant McIntosh, the scoop, gets it to go. Ohio State did a great job on McIntosh. Did finish with 15 points, but had to work for absolutely everything. This was a game where virtually no one could hit a three. The only real exception in the game was that guy, Cam Williams, eight points off the bench in the first half. Ohio State up by three. Then Williams, Mark Loving, a 14-2 run by the Buckeyes, put them up 26-17. But here come the Wildcats. Off the deflection by Trey Demps. He misses. Gavin Skelly does not. Northwestern down 26-21. This was not really reflective of what happened in the game for Trey Demps, but it was one big shot. He was one of eight from three. Three of 17 overall from the field. Nate Taphorn, the nice save. And the three out of the corner. Northwestern showing some life from behind the arc. They close the half on a 10-0 run. 27-26 at the break. To the second half, Jaquan Lyle with the steal. He had his struggles certainly in this game. That his lone field goal was just one of seven. Turnovers were an issue as well. Nice pass by Nate Taphorn to Dimps. And Northwestern on top, 36-34. The story of this game, though, as it turned out, was Cam Williams. Just huge off the bench. The quarter three ball puts the Buckeyes on top by one. Then more from Williams. On the other side, he was five of nine behind the arc, 21 points. Buckeyes up by four. McIntosh trying to answer for Northwestern. He hits the three, but the catch just six of 25 behind the arc on the heels of two of 20 against Maryland the other night. How about Williams again? 49-44, Buckeyes. Catch down four, Aaron Falzone, another guy who had trouble finding the stroke. The freshman hit just one of seven. That was the one. The deficit is one. That's when Ohio State took over, though. Loving through the lane and one. Buckeyes on top, 55-50. And then more from Williams. As the Buckeyes win for the 13th time in their last 14 visits to Evanston, they take it over McIntosh and the Wildcats. 65 to 56 is the final as Ohio State improves to 3 and 0 in the Big Ten, heading into a game Sunday at Indiana. Northwestern, its second straight loss after they had won 13 straight at home prior to that, obviously going back to last season. Afterwards, the head coach of the Buckeyes, Thad Mata, with Seth Davis. All right, Coach. Well, it wasn't pretty, but it counts. How did you guys dig out a win on the road in the conference when you couldn't buy a bucket? Well, I, you know, I, I really believe this. I, I thought our guys did a great job of, of being resilient because things did not go uh, the way we planned. They didn't go the way Northwestern planned. I mean, it was, like you said, it was kind of an ugly shooting game. And, you know, we were challenged our guys because I, I felt like we were so robotic at the, at the beginning of the game. And we had to make some plays like, you know, Cameron obviously came in and, and just lit the, the wick again. Mickey Mitchell was incredible night too. I mean, he really got some things going for us. But, uh, you know, down the stretch, we were we were disheveled. Trevor was was awesome and, and uh, to win for us. At one point, you lost four in a row. Now you've won nine out of ten. What's the biggest difference in this team today as opposed to four weeks ago? Well, obviously we've grown up a little bit. We're a little bit more mature. Um, we're understanding. I mean, you, you know how it is, Seth, when you've got so many new guys and, and you're trying to gel them together and everybody's kind of feeling their own way, they're probably thinking more about themselves than they are the team. And, and I give these guys credit. They've, they've done a great job of, of coming together as, as a team. And hey, that's how you got to win in this league. On the road, got the win, and now it's on to Indiana. Yeah, I can't wait. Congratulations. <laughs> Have a good time. All right, thanks, Seth. Let's go back to the studio.